Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Wismo Technologies. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate or describe on how you are going to install your database, including your database Oracle Home and how you can create a database on top of that Oracle Home. So there are various methods to install your database. Like sometimes you can use a GUI method, sometimes you can use your uh, silent mode, command line installation, and sometimes you can use your clone Oracle Home or clone your database. So database installation, let's take it in a two part, like uh, part one, where we can say Oracle Home installation. Sometimes some people will call it as a Oracle software installation. Or some people will, ca will say DB Home installation. Or some people will say, you know, just Oracle installation. Right, so this is a different naming terminologies. You can call it as whatever you feel or you are comfortable, like Oracle Home Installation, Oracle Software Installation, DB Home Installation, or Oracle Installation, all are referring to same thing. So in part two, database creation. So first you need to install the software and then create a database on top of that. So this Oracle Home installation, you have, let's say, option one, how you can install your Oracle Home. The easiest option is GUI mode. So in the GUI mode, we are going to run this run installer. The moment we run this run installer, so immediately we're going to ask you path and all those things and you can provide the installation is done. And you have option two, silent mode, or you can say manual method, right? It may be manual method or silent mode, or even you can say command line. Many people, again, different, terminologies, different naming convention and way of they they used to it, all are one and same one and same. So in the command line you can do the same thing. You can go ahead and then run this run installer with the keyword called silent. Right? We're gonna use the same run installer with hyphen silent so they're gonna not launch the GUI screen the moment you run this run installer you're gonna launch the GUI screen provided you have met all the GUI setup like you are doing with the GUI mode or you would already use the setup of your VNC server or Xming or Tiger VNC whatever the different ways to set up your GUI once you do the once you do the, all the GUI setup and run this run installer you're gonna launch the GUI screen and then start with installation and Oracle Home installation done. If you run this run installer with hyphen silent keyword, again, there are so many other parameters to pass it, like inventory location, ignore pre-checks, and you know, the response file, and so many other things. Now, when you run this one, it's not gonna launch the GUI screen, it's gonna start the installation in the, you know, command line mode. And we have option three, clone. So again, that is also your Oracle Home installation, but with the existing Oracle Home. One of the pre-checks is we have already Oracle Home installed on server A. So the clone is nothing but we have already Oracle Home installed on server A. So what we're gonna do, the steps going to like this take a tar backup of Oracle Home from server A, copy that tar backup into 
a new server or target server where you want to install your Oracle home and then enter the Oracle home backup and then run clone.pl. There's a clone.pl inside Oracle home clone and then clone.pl and run it some parameter again you need to pass it your inventory and your central inventory and your Oracle home name and central inventory short name and all those things and then your Oracle home is done that, that's a clone is again a manual method or let's say I can right? it looks like this again clone is manual method or command line method Gonna be like same thing again this all method whatever i explained it is varies between version to version if you're installing 11g version which is already absolute at the different steps if you're installing your 12c version again little bit changes and you're installing your 18c 19c 21c 23c all these steps little little here and there changes are there you have to first understand and then opt for whichever method you're gonna go for that Right, that is very first thing. Oracle home installation, software installation, DB home installation, or Oracle installation of all the one and same. So database creation. So database creation is you once you done with your Oracle home installation, you are going to create a database. So you are going to create a database with the uh, option one. Again, best method GUI. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into that Oracle home where you installed inside that bin, you're gonna run dbca so database configuration assistant so where we're going to launch the gui screen and pass all the parameters db name sid global name your data file path uh, read log path control file path or catalog path and memory and all those things and your database will be ready that's a gui mode right and then you have an option two Again, same thing, silent mode or manual method or the command line, you can again call it as whatever you want. So we're gonna run the same thing, dbca, again, hyphen silent with the response file path and all those things. That'll also gonna create a database for you in the silent mode. And you have option three, same silent method command line with the create database command. So create database command, what you want to do, very first thing, create a P file and start database in no mount mode and followed by run create database command which is gonna create a database, right? So that is very important. So followed by run some post script like cat CTL or pub BLD or to build your metadata inside the database. So this is a brand new database creation without using any template. Your DBCA, with the GUI mode, DBCA with silent mode. In backend, it's gonna use a template provided by Oracle and it's gonna create a database and then run all the post script to build the metadata or the data dictionary views or the dynamic performance views inside the database. But whereas this option three silent mode, that's using a create database command. So first you have to create a P file and start your database in no mount followed by run that create database command inside the SQL command line and that's gonna create a database. So once the database is created, so you have to run those post script for BLD and cat ETL dot SQL and so many other script you're gonna run it, which is gonna build your metadata. So that's gonna complete your uh, database creation. And we have, let's say option four, again, same thing silent method or you can say rman method 
So using the RMAN method, you can create your database. So one of the prerequisites is same thing. Same process. We already we already have here. We already have Oracle Home, not Oracle Home, Oracle Database. We already have Oracle Database on Server A. And then once you have database on Server A, you can use that database and then you can do like with backup and again, Armen is a very worst thing with the help of that existing database on Server A, build or create new database on target server, right? Or on the new server, whatever, new server on the target server. Right, so again, uh, as I said, on this server directly without backup, directly connect to the database and create a database on this new server. Or first take the backup of that database on server A, copy it to this new server, and then use those backup to create or build your new database. That's a complete, the huge topic on Armen. So we're not going to talk about that, but this is one of your options where you can create your database using this option four. So these are your option one, Oracle home installation, or whatever you can call it as option two, or sorry, the part two database creation, that is various options you can build it. So now, we have one more option here. I can say it not come under part one or part two. Can I combine this part one plus part two? Like part one is your Oracle home installation plus a part two is your a database creation right he can do that one so we can do the same operation we can run this run installer using the GUI method option one run installer using the same GUI mode right the moment I run this run installer I can choose Install Oracle Home plus create database together. Part one and part two together, I can do it in one shot, which works absolutely fine without any issue. Or even I can run this run installer. Silent mode or the manual method or the command line run installer silent mode using the response file and which is going to do the same thing. Install Oracle Home and create database together. That also possible here. Right, so either you can use this option one or option two to do all in one shot. Again, it is not a best practice. I can say running a both together is not a best practice. You have to first go with the separate Oracle Home installation followed by separate database creation. That is going to be your a best options or the best approach as per the enterprise need. Because we have a lot of options or a lot of control over there when you're doing a individual Oracle home inflation or individual database creation, and we can do a lot of customization and we can give whatever option we want it. But when you combine both together, Oracle home inflation and database creation together, that will be a little challenging and you know we don't have much customization over there. Again, this is in generic terminologies, we discussed the options of creation of database and installation of Oracle Home. But again, it comes to your ASM, comes to your rack, comes to your standalone and standalone with ASM, standalone without ASM and rack one node and rack database. And again, the installation is gonna be a little more complicated, right? So we'll cover all of them in our further lectures. For now, we'll take a break. We'll see you in our next session, guys. Thank you.